Hi, this is Venkat Narayana from Sunya Technologies. Today I am going to discuss about factorial number using recursion in Java. This is continuous to previous video, factorial number in Java. Please go through previous video before going through this video. What is factorial number? Factorial number means to multiply a series of descending natural numbers. The formula to calculate factorial of a number is n factorial equal to n into n minus 1 factorial. For example, if you want to calculate 5 factorial, 5 factorial equal to 5 into 5 minus 1 factorial. Here we need to calculate 4 factorial, then 4 factorial equal to 4 into 4 minus 1 factorial. Later we need to calculate 3 factorial, then 2 factorial, then 1 factorial, then 0 factorial. Finally, 5 factorial equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 equal to 120. The default value for 0 factorial equal to 1. We will discuss this logic over IntelliJ, launch IntelliJ and create Java application. I already created Java application. Here we have class and this class contains one main method. Main method is the entry point for an execution. Here we need to read input from command prompt system dot out dot print please provide input number we need to read input from command prompt create object for scanner class scanner sc equal to new scanner and pass system dot in system dot in we need to read integer from command prompt sc dot next int and assign to integer variable int input here we need to check input is valid or not if input less than 0 system dot out dot println invalid number else we need to call factorial method still we didn't create factorial method factorial of input now we need to create factorial method in the main class create factorial method as a static public static int factorial int input so this factorial method returning integer and created as a static method if we create any method as static then directly we can call the method without creating object here i am getting warning message like return value of the method is never used we need to return the integer value we will return later here we will check if input equal to 0 or input equal to 1 we need to return 1 return 1 else return input into factorial of input minus 1 here factorial method returning integer we need to store that output in the integer variable here declare integer variable int result let us print the result system dot out dot println input plus not equal to plus result here we are concatenating the values using plus operator what we did in this program is here we are reading the input from command prompt later we check the input is valid or not later here we are calling the factorial method with input value in the factorial method we are checking input is 0 or 1 if the input is 0 or 1 then we need to return 1 else we need to call factorial method recursively here factorial method calling itself that is called recursive method we will execute this program without debugging that means go to run click on run main or shift f10 here we need to provide input please provide input number minus 4 enter invalid number 
go to run run main 0 0 factorial code 1 run run main 1 enter 1 factorial code 1 go to run run main 5 5 factorial code 120 we will debug this program to understand flow of execution put breakpoint here later go to run click on debug main or shift f9 later click step into or f7 click on debug main here we have debugger window and console window in console window we need to provide input click f7 we need to read input from command prompt here we need to provide input like 3 enter here input is equal to 3 f7 here input that means 3 less than 0 false it goes to else part f7 we are calling factorial method with input equal to 3 input equal to 0 or input is equal to 1 return 1 here we input equal to 3 so it will go to else part input 3 into factorial of 3 minus 1 that means factorial of 2 now we need to calculate factorial of 2 f7 now input is equal to 2 this condition false it goes to else part 2 into factorial of 2 minus 1 that means factorial of 1 now input equal to 1 it will return 1 now this program will calculate like 1 into 2 into 3 that means 3 factorial equal to 6 f7 uh, 1 into here 2 into 3 it return the output result equal to 6 and print the result in debug window here we have 3 factorial equal to 6 stop debugging go to run run main 10 10 factorial equal to 3 6 2 double 8 double 0 that's it for today if you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.